Now, many of you probably have seen the you know extended clip of Antonio Brown with his child's mother when she came to the house and Antonio Brown was pissed off. In a lot of instances, Antonio Brown was doing too much in my opinion, but in some instances he was completely right about it. When she was in his car, if it would have been the other way around, Antonio Brown would have went to her house in her car, he'd have been on the ground, uh, tased and everything else. You understand? So they allow her to get away with a whole lot of things that he could never get away with. Now that woman, his children's mother, she's white. She's white and she gonna have white privilege in America. That happens. But people like Antonio Brown, you know, when he, he dating and he don't think he out there clowning his woman, calling her all kinds of names. Now look, Antonio Brown, she wasn't all of that, bro. When you was with her, when you made babies with her, if you call and heard that, then what about your children? And the fact that you was acting a fool in front of those kids, you should have held that back. That doesn't make you look good. And you recorded everything. So it makes people think that you're not stable. She's not stable. And then you act like you're not stable either. Now you're, you're talking all crazy with them folks them cops. You already know the only reason they halfway hold them back on you because of the kind of money you have. That's the only reason they hold them back. If you was a regular brother out here, man, they'd have whipped you up out there for talking crazy like that. But when that video hit social media, the Hollywood Florida police department said they tired of the disrespect from Antonio Brown that they give officers and they said they're going to be returning his donation check and banning him from using the athletic field. Now they said that ever since the incidents he'd been having with his child's mother or children's mother, actually of the three, um, he said they've been having a lot of bad blood between Brown and the Hollywood police department. He said it got much worse on Monday uh, when it was called for domestic incident at Brown's home. And he subsequently cursed out and degraded and added insult Brown posted a video to his social media pages. I get why Antonio Brown was upset. I get it. I, I think he maybe could handle it a different way, but I get it. She keeps coming back to his house. It's not like she showed up one time and he just acted a fool. She keeps coming back and coming back and coming back. And she wants to be in his cars and she wants his lifestyle. See, the thing is she missed that lifestyle with Antonio Brown. It don't matter how much child support he pay, it's still not going equal to the lifestyle she would have being with Antonio Brown. And she, some reason, feel like she's still entitled to that life because you got some women out there that can't move on too soon. Now, he got a new girlfriend that he's been parading around on social media, and he's all, you know, I guess he's he big into her, you know, and that's fine. That's his business. But I didn't agree with him talking crazy in front of the kids. I didn't agree with that at all. Cause it, it's, a, it's a way to handle things. If anything, those kids should have went in the house and then, you know, you talk with the police and, and y'all handle that situation. Now they said that because Antonio Brown was very rude and disrespectful, they was forbidding him from using the Hollywood police athletic league for workouts. Okay. And they say if he returns, his face is getting arrested for trespassing. And they said that it was a sizable check that he made for the organization's seven on seven league. So he paid them to use their facility for his league. He said, we're not taking money from a donor that we cannot have our youth be proud of or represent our organization. They said, while officers on the scene, Mr. Brown treated them with disrespect and disdain. So he said, we made a decision to sever ties with Mr. Brown. They say in the Howard Police Athletic League, we do not want our youth to be subject to that type of behavior or emulate the actions of Mr. Brown. See, that it's not about the cops. Let me make this clear. It's not that he talked crazy to the cops. Cops are talked crazy to a lot by people. The fact is, they didn't like if you watch that video, watch it real close. They didn't like the way he was talking to that Chelsea uh woman. They didn't like that. See, they was going to retaliate. I mean, he berated her in front of them. You understand? And of course they're going to retaliate. This is America. They're going to do something to you. They say, look, we don't even want your money. Take your money. We don't even want you around us like that. You come back, you're going to jail. You think you're going to sit up there and berate some white woman in front of the police? The only reason they say he wasn't beat up for it is because of his money. That is it. And it would be a big thing if they do it to him. The thing is, Antonio Brown forget, she's a white woman in America. She has white privilege. 
He black. He ain't got that at all. And that woman can make his life a living hell if she so choose to. He really needs to tread lightly. But Antonio Brown gonna learn. He gonna learn. I don't know if he he got hit too many times in the NFL or what, and he lost his mind to a point. But he gonna learn and watch. And when he learn, and when she you know do him something and get him caught up, I'm gonna come right back over here and I'm gonna say, see, I told y'all. Antonio Brown thinking that that he he one of them. He he's above the, the fray. That he's not on the same level with the rest of us black folk. You know what I'm saying? That he needs to tread real lightly with those police and that woman. He really do. Cause she's not going to stop showing up. She's going to keep coming back, keep coming back. You know, I know he got evicted from the house, but he needs to figure something out. He really do. Put your cars up, bro. In the garage, change all the locks. Or you can, you can get that done. Change all the, the security, uh, uh, information. She, she, how is she getting in your car that you're leaving it unlocked? Put your stuff up. You should, you sit up there saying, oh, she'll come take the kids to the school. No, let me tell you how to handle that. You take the kids to the school and take them back and forth. And then when she drop, you drop the kids off with her, she take the kids back and forth to school. It's just that simple. She don't need to come to your house to get the kids to take them to school. You take them. Or you hire a nanny or whoever you want to hire, but it's better you take them to school. That way you cut out on all that. She, you need to cut off the reasons for her to come to your house. There's no reason for her to be there. So anytime she show up, it's going to be a problem. So you already got enough issues with these police, Antonio Brown now, and you really got it because of her showing up at your house constantly. Cause we have shown many times on this channel that she showed up to your crib, take those kids to school, keep her away from your house, keep her away because that woman right there, she, she likes something wrong with her and she's not going to stop. But leave me a comment. Let me know what think about the situation with Antonio Brown. And I know some people going to say, Oh, that's what he get. He fooling with that kind of female. I said, look, Women like that can be like that in any group. Y'all need to stop all that because if you ever seen women of all races, there's traits that women in general have. Then there's traits that some women have due to color, culture, whatever. That trait right there, what that woman's doing, I've done stories long enough to see women of all groups act just like his baby mama, as, as he would say. So don't go there.